Hello everyone, my name is Prashant Hegde. I am a passionate tester and an agile enthusiast. I currently head the QA team at an organization called Mo Engage, which is based in Bangalore, India. I firstly wish every one of you a very happy and safe new year 2021. 2020 has uh, really been a tough year for all of us. COVID-19 brought in a lot of challenges that many of us did not anticipate. COVID-19 brought in a lot of suffering. Many of us lost our dear ones. Some of us lost our jobs. Some of us lost prospects and opportunities. However, this new year, 2021, stands in front of us like a fresh new chapter in our lives. This new year also brings with it new hope, opportunities, and inspiration. Welcome to QA Inspirational Talks 2021. Today, I'm here to talk about the power of personal brand. Let's get started. A month since 1925. Matlab? Matlab, company jab se shuru hui. Aisa kyo likhte hai? Brands ko aise hi likhte hai. Brand matlab? अपने नाम की अलग पहचान बनाई, जिसे सारे लोग जानते हैं। छोटा था, तभी उसने तय कर लिया था उसे एक ब्रांड बनना है। If you Google your name, what comes up? If your answer is nothing, probably you have not spent much time developing your personal brand. So what is a personal brand? Ask this simple question to yourself. What do you want to be known for? How do you want to promote yourself? Your personal branding is the image that people see of you. Personal branding is basically establishing and promoting what you stand for. Personal branding these days has become extremely important, not just for testers, but for everyone. Creating a personal brand will help you stand out from rest of the competition or rest of the professionals or testers in your field. Building a personal brand requires you to devote both time and energy. So how do you build a personal brand as a tester? Start with reading blogs of influential people in your community. Start by participating in testing communities. Engage in online forums. Network with people in your industry. Start attending conferences and webinars. Spread the knowledge you have. The best way to create a personal brand is to create compelling content. Compelling content will draw audience and keep them coming back because it adds something to their lives. It helps them to solve their problems. So compelling content is, is the best way of creating a personal brand. Basically, you need to spread knowledge and you need to help others to learn. When they start benefiting from you, that's when people will start looking up to you. Read books, blogs, articles. Start presenting at conferences, webinars. Start blogging, start writing articles. So one of the most important aspects of personal branding is making sure that you have an online presence. It may be your LinkedIn, Twitter, or uh, your personal website, a portfolio. Personal branding lets you highlight your expertise and attract ideal audience. The personal branding also allows you to establish yourself as a thought leader, or an influencer in your industry. There are a lot of advantages of being an influencer. Big organizations, brands, tools would want to work with you as you are an influencer and you uh, influence where the industry will head towards. Right? Being an influencer will bring in a lot of opportunities and more revenue for you. Remember one thing when creating a personal brand, be genuine. Uh, 
the key for personal branding is authenticity don't try to be someone that you are not a strong personal brand can lead to interview opportunities job placements promotions partnership with big brands speaking engagements opportunities for paid blogging it can open up a whole new world of opportunities for you these are some of the tips to get started hopefully you will be able to see value in developing a personal brand thank you so much for watching i hope you like the video please connect with me on social media i will be really happy to answer if you have any questions thank you so much see you soon bye bye